Okay, so after a pretty good solid opening episode of Strange New World, we've got episode 2. The children of the comet to look forward to this week and there has been a few sneak peeks released. So I'm going to be talking about that and if you don't want any potential spoilers for Strange New World Episode 2, this is going to be your only warning. But let's just get right into it. It looks as if in the first episode they're setting up the world and, you know, the ship and the crew and everything we've come to expect from Star Trek. While there wasn't a huge focus on Spock in the first episode, other than the sort of opening introduction, I think that this one is going to be introducing or giving us a bit more time with some of the rest of the characters on the ship. Namely Uhura and Lieutenant Hammer or Commander Hammer or Hamer, however it is you pronounce it, I'm going to get comments about that regardless. And the scene that has been released does seem to focus on these two characters, although the rest of the main cast does appear to be there. So we've got the crew in what looks like Pike's quarters and they're all sort of helping in to cook dinner. Anson Mount, I think it was, did mention a few months ago that there would be quite a few scenes of the crew or members of the crew together in Pike's quarters. And I guess this is sort of where he meant, it's a bit like Central Perk and Friends, but probably only less racist because there wasn't many non-white faces there even in the background if you check. Yep, Friends was a shocking show from the 90s, but anyway. <clears throat> so judging from the clip, I think this episode is going to focus on the Chief Engineer and Uhura and I've got to be honest, I'm looking forward to it because we don't really know much about Uhura outside of the movies and the new ones didn't really do much for her other than give her a relationship with Spock and Hamer's a completely new character and he's an ENR that was first introduced about 20 odd years ago all the way back in Enterprise they're a sort of offshoot or companion or cousin species to the Andorians, but they're blind and they've got some extra sensory perception as well, which they do talk about. And in this scene, there is quite a good bit of back and forward. I'll be honest, I wasn't sure how I felt about Ahura in the first episode. But if we're meeting her and she's at her youngest point, I'm happy for there to be changes in the character. Whereas, I said that in my review of Strange New World Episode 1, Spock is a real sticking point for me in this show because we've had 60 years of him. He's debatably one of the most popular, biggest Trek characters that we've ever had and we know tons about him. So I hope that they do take the focus off Spock for a few episodes and allow characters like the Doctor, Chapel, the Chief Engineer, or Hura, or Tegez, all these people to shine. One thing I'm looking forward to in this show is the characters that we don't know like Ortegas and Hamer. And I want to see how these people are going to impact life on the Enterprise and how it's going to impact them. Now, the entire episode isn't of course just going to be about two characters. The plot appears to be a sort of standard Star Trek trope that the crew show up, a comet's coming towards the planet and they've got to stop it. The sort of only twist here is, from what I can tell, it looks as if the people on the planet worship the comet in some sort of way or it has some sort of cultural or religious significance so they don't want it destroyed. I think this is probably going to be mostly an Ahura focused episode where she has to overcome some language or learn something about the culture or something like that in order to solve the problem. Which is perfectly fine, at the moment I'm not really worried about the missions or the general story of this show, it's more about the characters and the writing. The first episode was pretty solid, I just hope it doesn't fall into standard Star Trek tropes or new Trek tropes I should say of speeches and then not showing a lot and then just terrible pacing. With the episodic format I don't think that's going to happen here but as always we're going to have to wait and see. Now this is just my views on what I think is going to happen in episode 2. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And <laughs>